Excuse me as I kiss the sky. Hey guys, it's the God Queen Sansa right here. So I'm trying like this new dark, like dark thing going on with the darkness and the choker. I don't know, it makes me look like mysterious a little bit. <laughs> like if you watch my videos, you've never seen me like dress like this. It's kind of like what? Anyway, so I appreciate you watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share to have the notification bell so you can be a part of the notification squad, all right? So you guys know how much I love Facebook and I love YouTube videos. I'm a star, you know what I'm saying? I'm a star in my own, right? Like, totally. And so anyway, I was on Facebook and you guys know I love, I just love Facebook. I cannot say that enough. There's a level of realness of people on Facebook. Anyway, so I'm on Facebook and I see Andre Fuller. Do you know who Andre Fuller is? You know, the guy with the beard, just, just the shit is just beard. Like, beard. He has the shit that you just gotta stare at his picture and you think that the beard is eventually just gonna come a fucking live. It's gonna be like some type of animal is just gonna jump off his chin because the shit is like huge. But it, but it don't match him. You see what I'm saying? It's like you look at him and you're thinking baby face from the nose up and then you look from the nose down and this shit is like, it's like just black static. It's easy to get taken off focus looking at this dude. Like one time I saw this picture of him and he had no shirt on and shit and I was like, wow, right? And then I was like, wait, that beard, man. I think I would like it better if he just had like a goatee because he got like too much. It's, just too much. Anyway, I saw him post and he was saying how he lived across the street from the theater where they do the Oscars at. And I was like, wow, okay, that's close. That's Hollywood, nigga. You can look out the window with binoculars and you are at the Oscars. You feel what I'm saying? He was talking about how he felt some type of way about not being able to go to the Oscars this year and how it's a dream of his. And, and then he made this analogy about someone being a basketball fan and living across the street from Michael Jordan and never meeting Michael Jordan. And I was like, I can so relate to this shit. I can so relate. But then I remembered, I've only seen Andre Fuller on TV and he's little when I'm looking at the television. So I said, thinking in my mind, hmm, how can I positively attack this motherfucking post? I said, this is what you should do. I believe in the law of attraction, so I believe that you are whatever it is that you believe yourself to be. So I said, listen, this is what you do. <laughs> and this is not funny, but shit was funny to me. I said, this is what you do. You're short, right? So paint yourself gold and look in the mirror. You are the Oscar. Be the Oscar. Achieve it. <laughs> that nigga got so mad at me. What? He tried to lay me out. He really tried to lay me out. I was like, why are you, why are you mad? I'm, t I'm encouraging you. He was like, so you think that's funny? I am six foot tall. Listen, I think men get a little bit emotional when you start to talk about their height. Like, they don't want to be short. They feel like being short is like one of the worst things you can be in this planet. But honestly, being short is okay. If you're short and me, you're the same height, we out of eye here. That's why I think he can't understand what I'm talking about because he way up here and I'm way down here. I'm like, come down here and talk to me. I'm a down to earth person. It flew, it flew past him. It flew past him. I thought thespians always took acting classes. So when I said, be the Oscar, you are the Oscar, I thought he was gonna get the joke. Joke flew right over his head. He was so mad. Anyway, I ended up having to apologize. And I said, you know what? I am sorry that I tried to encourage you in such an unorthodox metaphysical type of way that you couldn't grasp the law of attraction. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was like, listen, I just want you to understand that actually going to the Oscars and actually getting there is a lot easier than you think. So you'll probably end up being there next year. <laughs> like, you won't miss it. And he was like, well, you need to stop telling jokes. Like, don't quit your day job, basically. And then he started throwing in the fact that I do YouTube videos. I was like, why do people always try to make it seem like doing YouTube videos is the worst thing in the world when people are motherfucking watching me and enjoying it? 
I enjoy YouTube videos. I enjoy doing them. Why should I feel some type of way because you feel like it would be an insult if you did YouTube videos, you know? Listen, I'm down to earth. Doing a YouTube video is fun. Doing a YouTube video is like a stepping stone for something else, my nigga. Don't get it twisted. He tried to make it seem like I'm low on the scrotum pole because I do YouTube videos. I'm like, this nigga is crazy. This ego done got him straight tripping. I'm like, listen, <coughs> babe, it's not that deep. <laughs> I was just trying to encourage you in a different way. Because all of these women were in there, all oh, Andre, it's okay. You'll make it. Coddling his ass and shit because they think he fine. I know what these bitches is doing. They ain't your friends. They think you fine. So they in there like, mm, an actor is feeling some type of way. Let me use this opportunity to encourage him in a feminine way. Miles was like, fuck that. Listen, this is what I'm going to do. Not coddle your ass and say, nigga, man, get into the Oscars is easy. Dude, all you really got to do is go up there and get to know the security people from the damn theater you know so next time you know pookie and them could just let you in in the background you know what i'm saying give you a free ticket and everything you be second row in the <laughs> chili come on now you black you know how it go you should have introduced yourself to security you will be at every oscar every year <laughs> like, come on we know how that goes andre wasn't feeling it though he didn't even feel my apology he's he's, he's still mad he's still a little upset he told me to stop telling jokes because i wasn't funny i was like shit was funny to me got it <laughs> Shit was comical to me, goddamn it. I mean, I know you can't see it, but you know my man. You telling me to stop telling jokes because I'm not funny? It's like me telling you to stop acting because you didn't make it to the Oscars this year, my nigga. You don't want to go there with me. He was mad. I think I think it was the height thing. I was like, dude, you look small on TV. I'm, I'm always going to see you as a small person, regardless to your height, if I ain't never seen you in person. Like, people always think I'm really, really tall for some reason. When they see me in videos, they think I'm super duper huge. <laughs> They're like, oh, you're BBW. You're like five foot seven. I'm like, whoa, I'm five foot even and tiny, honey. I'm one of the itty bitties. But yeah, he was sensitive about that. I was like, damn, okay, my bad, sorry. At least I apologize. And he didn't appreciate my apology, though. I want to know what he hiding inside of that beard. What, what's crawling out of that beard at night? What you doing with that? Why is it so much there? And why is it so thick? I think it's inappropriate for a man to have a beard that thick. What are you doing? I think he would get more acting gigs if he actually didn't have that beard. Because how many, how many casting calls actually say I want an African-American man, six foot tall, thick ass, Rick Ross beard? I don't, I, I don't know. Does, does any casting director want that? I'm not really big on acting like that. I did a few acting gigs, but your know, acting isn't really for me. I'd rather just do YouTube videos. Yeah, YouTube videos for me. Yeah, that's about it. YouTube videos. I had to tell him, you know, I'm a computer geek. I'm not really, um, you know, my resume consists of a lot of positive stuff I do for the community. I'm just a nice person. <laughs> like, that's it. I'm not trying to drag you. But man up! Stop feeling sorry for yourself and man up and be at them Oscars next year. You can do this. You got this. That's that black female inspiration for you. I don't tell jokes to make other people laugh. And I think that might be why I'm not an actual comedian. <laughs> I tell jokes to make me motherfucking laugh. <laughs> like, and I will tell my personal joke on your motherfucking URL. And it could possibly make you angry. But listen to this. I have good jokes, bad jokes, small jokes, big jokes, corny jokes, bad jokes, good jokes. Just always understand that it's coming from a good place and I'm here to make you laugh and inspire you to do better. That is all. Nothing more to it. <laughs> so don't take it personal. I appreciate all those who are watching. Thank you so much. Have vision and stay focused. Namaste. Namaste.